So we're interested in making uh, materials that have a very low thermal expansion. That is, they uh, don't change dimensions very much when they're subject to a temperature change. And that's useful in a number of areas, including uh, optical elements, so mirrors, lenses, fiber optics. Well, I synthesize mixed metal fluorides that possess a uh, crystal structure that has been shown to produce negative thermal expansion and we're interested in negative thermal expansion materials. It contracts upon heating or expands upon cooling. From a scientific point of view, it's interesting because it's so anomalous. The vast majority of materials um, expand upon heating. From a technological standpoint, uh, it's very beneficial to control thermal expansion because you can think of many applications that involve heating and cooling and you don't want too much stress. My students, graduate and undergraduate, don't just spend time working in laboratories at Georgia Tech. We're actually a group that makes very extensive use of federal government facilities. Back in December, I got to go to Argonne National Laboratory, which is just outside of Chicago. There's a huge synchrotron there they use to produce high-powered x-rays, which gives us an opportunity to study our materials better. Um, I find that many of uh, undergraduate students are really outstanding in the lab. They have uh, great technical skills and uh, certainly when it comes to preparing materials they, they can contribute a lot. They can help us move a project forward uh, in a timely fashion. I really enjoy working with them. Uh, it's uh, very rewarding personally as well as scientifically.